Markey by WebEx. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, very much. And uh, I'd like to follow up on uh, the line of inquiry that uh, Senator Booker was pursuing. Uh, and I'd like to ask um, the officials from the SBA uh, uh, specifically, what is what are you doing at PPP and IDLE to make sure, and the other programs, to make sure that minority and women um, small business owners are getting their fair share, and it's not going as it was initially disproportionately to white, well-off, uh, uh, well-connected uh, businesses. Um, well, to speak to the PPP program, and, and I'll let James uh, obviously speak to EIDL, um, Senator. Um, as, as you know, one of the changes that the Biden-Harris administration recently announced uh, with, that's been referenced in the hearing earlier regarding gross income change um, to support a better calculation or a fairer calculation for sole proprietors, self-employed individuals, and 1099s. Um, enables uh, those folks to get um, arguably a higher PPP loan amount. That's important to your question um, because the Census Bureau data uh, demonstrates that um, those populations of type of businesses over index to minorities in particular as, as, as well as women. Um, so that is one change that directly puts more money into the pockets of minority business owners, for example, that we're focused on. I think the other um, uh, changes that we made to the eligibility, eligibility issues are not unique to minority uh, borrowers, but certainly they, they benefit from regarding the, the student debt um, uh, changes, um, as well as uh, changes made to um, uh, immigrant status um, and then ex-offenders. Um, and so those are some other important eligibility uh, checks um, that obviously impact everyone but um, would include uh, minority business owners. Um, I think the other thing that we are focused on, um, like a laser, for example, as we move forward to the restaurant program, um, is that the bill um, specifically calls out a 21-day prioritization period for social and economically disadvantaged individuals. Um, so there'll be a lot of focus um, uh, uh, around that, um, and certainly the Community Navigators program um, is a big piece of that. Can can I can I ask again? Can I ask uh, Mr. Rivera and Mr. Kelly, what are you doing in order to make sure that targeted communities know that this funding is available to them? What is your marketing plan for these smaller businesses that oftentimes are outside of the the regular uh, network of businesses in the country? Yeah. So. It Specifically to PPP changes, I participated in uh, six or seven um, hour plus um, webinars targeted to specific segments of the population, including minority business owners, um, including you know, Black Chamber, Hispanic Chamber. Um, and so we are doing outreach like that. We're also obviously amplifying the message. Um, the current leader of OCPL. Um, Cynthia, my colleague, is um, actually very experienced in community grassroots organizing and getting the word out um, in, in the communities that you are uh, uh, wanting us to target. Um, so it's a combination of that, but it's also a combination of PPP was limited because the uh, thrust of the distribution channel, um, meaning banks um, of all different sizes, prioritized um, existing clients, which of course excluded the underbank population. So any solution moving forward has to contemplate that uh, limitation to the le leveraging lending intermediaries when we think about access to capital issues. Okay, beautiful, thank you. Anyone else wanna talk about the targeting strategies you might have? So Senator, we, we on the disaster side uh, for economic entry disaster loan, we also used our existing resource partners uh, that you're well aware of in the district offices to amplify it in, in addition to the uh, to the uh, to the, the disaster staff that normally reaches out during disasters. But as always, if you have other thoughts or, or you know comments for us, please let us know, and, and we'll, you know we can follow accordingly. So we appreciate the. Uh, well, that's great. Thank you. And we've been working with Bob Nelson, the regional SBA director. Uh, uh, my staff has been in constant contact uh, with them, and we just want to make sure, though, that there's an ongoing intensifying effort to reach those targeted communities, that the message being sent from and resources from the top down. 
Thank you all so much. Um, thanks for your great efforts. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Senator.